First of all, you want to let the customer know. I'm just going to draw a graphical representation of our program. And first, uh, I'm going to draw, of course, the x-axis. And this is going to represent money. And then, you're going to draw the y-axis. And this represents time. You want to go back and put in the key years. So we're going to do year 10. And year 20. And year 25. Okay. Now before you continue, you want to have a conversation with the customer about the utility rate increases. And we can of course look backwards, look at the graphs that we provide. It shows about a 5% uh, increase year over year across California. But most of the utilities that we work in are much more aggressive than that, about 6 to 11%. And we want to talk about that in whatever utility you're in. And then you want to let them know that for the purposes of this graph and our paperwork, we use a conservative 4.5% uh, figure. And you want to ask the customer, would you agree that that's conservative or at least realistic? And the customer really has to say yes to this before you continue. Otherwise, uh, they will not see the value in price protection. Most people are going to say yes. They know how much the rates are going up. So you say, okay, great. Now let's do this. Let's take uh, your uh, average monthly bill, and let's say it's $200 and go ahead and multiply that on your phone calculator by 12 months and that's going to of course equal 2400 okay then you want to multiply that times 1.045 now this is going to show that 4.5% increase every year compounding on top of itself. So you'll hit it one year and that'll give you a number of 2508. And then you'll ask the customer to hit the equal sign nine additional times and that's going to equal the price or the cost of 3727. Wow, goes up quite a bit. Then you're going to ask the customer, sorry to do this to you, but would you please hit the equal sign 10 more times? And then that's going to give you a figure of 57.88. And just kind of pause there for a second. Let that really sink in for the customer. Isn't that wild how much it, it goes up? It's more than double than what you're paying currently. And again, we're using a pretty conservative figure. So this really builds and enhances the pain uh, from drill to bill. And now we've also earned the right to draw a line going up, 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 which is going to signify the problem. So go back to the current cost of power. You want to draw a nice 45 degree angle. And this, of course, signifies the current plan that the customer is on. And you want to draw an arrow because that plan never ends. Now you want to ask the customer a simple question. Uh, would you agree that if you do nothing over the next 10, 20, 25 years, that all of this money would be going out the window into the utility? Okay. And then, of course, you want to follow up and say, don't worry, because what we're going to do is take all this money and redirect it. Some's going to go back into your home and the rest is going to go back into your pocket. You're going to come out, we're going to install a beautiful solar system, and we're going to take care of all the upfront costs. And you want to just draw a nice dashed line and this signifies your after solar bill. And notice it does go up slightly. And that's because it's still subject to the rate increases. And now you want to explain how we pay for the solar. 
Now again, instead of asking for the upfront costs, we're going to come in with a nice fixed rate. Now where that is, where we come in, depends on uh, several factors, namely their roof and the analysis we've done, their kilowatt hour usage history, and then the third component is credit. And you can let them know that sometimes customers are paying about the same, sometimes a little bit less, and sometimes just a little bit more. And even if you know that they're going to be paying less, you know, it's a perfect south-facing roof and all that good stuff, you still want to anchor higher. Because what this does is it sets an expectation for the customer to pay a little bit more. And the value is still there because they're protecting themselves from the rising increases. But then, of course, when we come in, we're paying about the same or maybe even saving the money day one, well, now they're extremely happy. But you really want to do yourself a favor and anchor above. So you say, okay, so you might start out just a little bit higher, and then you're going to come in with this nice fixed rate. And notice, of course, that it stops at year 20. And then you want to put in a couple lines here. And just ask the customer what, uh, what do you suppose that is? And they should say, well, that's, uh, that's my savings. Absolutely. This is all the money that would have gone to the utility and is now staying in your pocket. Essentially, found money. And really, that's kind of icing on the cake because all this money right here, this was also going to the utility, and now it's going back into your home improvement. Now, at the end, you want to ask the customer, what do you think happens at year 20? And most people should understand that this, that this is an ownership program. And they'll say, well, I guess uh, I own it. And they absolutely do. This is not a lease, not a PPA. This is a full ownership plan. And then you can make this line nice and solid. Draw in some big dollar signs, because now the savings is huge. Okay? Fantastic. Now, let them know about all the value that comes with this program. First of all, for the first 20 years, ASD is going to offer you a production guarantee. This means that we are indeed guaranteeing you a certain amount of electricity every single year, and if it underperforms, then ASD is contractually obligated to pay you per kilowatt for that underproduction. So you've got that coverage for 20 years, and then after year 20, when you own the system, you still have five more years of guaranteed power from the manufacturer's warranty, because they guarantee the panels up to year 25, and at that year, they say that the panels will be producing at or above 80% efficiency uh, as the panels were producing day one. So basically two lines of defense, which is really fantastic and pretty unique in the solar uh, marketplace. Last thing to cover is one of the main objections with solar, and that is moving. So before this turns into an objection or an argument or anything like that, go ahead and inoculate against it. First, you want to use um, any year that they told you. So maybe in the discovery questions, they said they're planning on moving around year five or year seven. You could use that date. If they don't have a specific time, I suggest you come right here around year 10 and go ahead and put a nice line right down the middle. This shows a nice before and after. And you want to tell them a little story. You want to say, okay, you go to sell your house in 10 years, and you're going to advertise your house on the MLS listings as a solar home. So all your potential home buyers come here knowing that you have it. This should inoculate against the question of, well, what if they don't want it? Well, they're not going to be looking at your house. Much like if you have a pool in the backyard, that's something that those buyers are looking for. It's part of the house. It comes with the house. Okay? And when they come over to look at your home, you have two options. One is you can transfer this system and the program right over to the new homeowner. So they would inherit your same fixed rate that you locked in way back 10 years ago. And they would also inherit both guarantees. They'd get the production guarantee, the uh, product warranty, all that good stuff that comes with the program. The second option, which some people think is even better, is because there's no prepayment penalty with this uh, program, you can just take the remaining balance left on the loan not the full amount, okay, no interest, no prepayment penalty. So you can take that remaining amount, roll it into the cost of the home. 
Now you're advertising a house with almost no bill whatsoever, and that absolutely warrants a higher asking price for the home. So maybe you have 10000 left to pay off on the loan. You roll that into the home cost, and you sell it for $20,000 more, which is the average uh, rate that people are getting for solar homes, uh, and you make a nice little profit there. So either way you look at it, whichever option you want to choose, it's a huge benefit and it'll help the home sell a little bit faster and make it a little bit more attractive. All right, after you've covered all those bases, just make sure you ask the homeowners if they have any questions and if they see the value in the program. And that is the graph.